hey, in this video, I will show you how to factory reset your LilyGo T Echo and how to update the firmware. Here is the device, the LilyGo T Echo. Before we do anything, we must attach the antenna. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. Once the antenna is attached, we can use their puny out of the box type C cable, or you can use your own if you have it, 10 foot cable, because that makes life a lot easier. Unlike me, please do not spend two hours trying to read the factory erase instructions where the first five are easy peasy, but my gosh, this sixth one has so many hidden variables, it drove me mad for two hours. I ended up having to join the Discord, which by the way, their Discord is absolutely fantastic. They're all nice. They're all knowledgeable people who can bring it down to someone of my level. Instead of spending two hours, we can spend three minutes and nobody calls the command prompt serial console. I mean, I'm not a tech guru, but I don't know a single person that calls the command prompt serial console. That was confusing. Following in steps, the proper order, you first factory erase the device and then you drag and drop the firmware. Lilygo T Echo is an NRF52 device. So when you're at Meshtastic, this is the website, you slap that get started, you go to flash firmware, you go to the NRF52. Do not drag and drop first, you want a factory erase to get rid of the old data that the factory used for testing and other purposes, mayhaps, I don't know. People are weird. Erase their weirdness. Go back over here to the factory erase. The actual step one is to download and unzip the latest firmware. So you go to the mesh tastic downloads. We're not doing this nonsense. We're not doing the flasher. We're not doing the apps. Firmware, that's where we need to be. You want the stable version so it doesn't break on you unless you're those who like new stuff then you go to alpha so you'll slap that stable download and it's gonna download Woo! that's exactly what it does open that up unzip it because you need a particular file from that you need the mesh tastic nrf52 factory erase file we have found the file from our zip right here Meshtastic NRF 52 Factory Erase. All we have to do according to the instructions, and this is true, is copy it over and the device will reboot. If it does not reboot that first time, literally try again. It took me two times on my first device. By the way, you have to have two devices for this to work. One T Echo for a setting device and one T echo for a receiving device. That's how this works. All right, we have the device plugged into the computer and it is freaking out. It's also charging, but it's also freaking out. So this right here, ooh, my hands are huge, holy cow. This is the on off button. This is the, I would, they call it the bootloader. It, this is, you have to double tap this for the computer to recognize the device. This is, this bottom button is also what changes the, uh, what you see. So you come over here, is the old data that the factory set up to test it. So we want to get rid of all this old data, which is what the factory reset is for. All right, step one, connect your device via USB cable. Done did. Double click the reset button on your device. That's that top button. We're gonna slap that twice. Ba bam. Now our device is loaded. Step six is the trip up. It says connect to the device via serial console using the Meshtastic CLI. What this fails to inform you of a very important aspect is you have to have Python installed. So those who don't have Python installed, Go to the bottom right of your computer, slap in the word Python. If you don't have Python, go to the Microsoft Store, shebang. Give it 50 years to load. All right, once you're in the store, look for the word Python. Let's see here, I forget which one I have. Ah, I have this one. Get the latest version of Python, which as of today is Python 3.11. 
once this is finished installing, you'll have Python and you'll have pip. Both are extremely important. So whip up that command prompt. Shabang. Well, how do we get the, uh, the Python codes that we need to install the Mestastic library? Right click this, new tab. In this new tab on the left, go to installation. Scroll down a bit. You have to do these two codes for this whole scenario to work. So you need to, you need to do a pip install, pi tap two, and then pip install meshtastic. If when you install this and the path, you'll have a yellow warning in your command prompt. If the path is not set, you will have to go into your control panel. You'll have to go into your system and security, your system, scroll down on Windows 10 to advanced system settings and environmental variables. Here's where you'll edit the user variables, your user path. You'll hit edit, you'll hit new, and you'll paste that directory where that Python placed the messtastic script. And to test your Python, you'll just do, you know, Python version. Well, bam, you'll do your mesh tastic to see if it works it recognized the command nice and it gave me all the list of commands i can do at this point you are ready to begin factory resetting your mesh tastic so once you're ready close out of your command prompt and reopen it as administrator all right close out of this i am attempting to get this in one go step five i'm copying over the file it disconnected, which means it worked. Cool, step five is now done. It reboots kind of fast. After you copy over that factory erase, do not bootload it. Do not push this button twice. Before you do that, you have to go in and do the Meshtastic CLI non-pro2 code in the command prompt. Back to the website, grab this code, Go back to our command prompt and then just hit enter. And once you see that the formatting is done, you're good to go. Just in case, I always hit enter once after that, just to make sure it's done done. Now we have successfully reset our Meshtastic. After we have successfully reset the device, we're gonna double tap the top button here to bootload it so we can update the firmware. There we go. So to update the firmware, we connected the device to your computer via USB. We double tapped the reset button to bootload it. We noticed a new device was mounted to our computer. We noticed that the device has three files. All we have to do is drop the appropriate firmware file. In our case, it is firmware device name T echo blah 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 dot uf2. In that table download we did earlier, if you sort extracted folder by name, it should be pretty easy to find the file you're looking for. Boom. This is what we're looking for. All we have to do is drag it over. It's copying, it's doing its thing. This surprisingly takes a while. All right. Our mesh tastic here should be freaking out in about two seconds. Ah. Uh, oh. There it goes. Yep. There it goes. It is resetting. Nice. Well, not resetting. Uh, it is updating the firmware. Very nice. Very good. Again, this process takes about two minutes, so I'll see you in about two minutes. Now, to test whether our device actually works or not, we're gonna go to the connect and configure device, woo -hoo. Easiest way to test this is web client, and the web client only works in certain browsers, namely Chrome and Edge. It says no devices, we're gonna do new connection, serial, again, serial. You can use other browsers, but only Chrome and Edge allow serial. And I prefer serial because it's plugged in. It's super easy to do. I'm going to go to what port it's on. It is the tiny USB. 
going to connect to it. And we have no peers. This is exactly what we want. The old configuration had like five or six peers. This device has been successfully reset, successfully updated, and is good to go for use. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. There are other videos showing people how to use this device. I'm not gonna do that part. I did the hard part. We went through, we made it through the hard part, setting up the darn thing. So if you like this video, uh, like, subscribe. I don't do videos often for techie stuff, but when I do, it's because something really made me angry and I went out of my way to make a video because nobody else did. As always, thanks for watching. Don't die. Catch you in the next video.